What is applied research? Well, when Newton saw the apple falling from a tree, no company had asked him to study why the apple was falling. That was pure research. But imagine that a company wants to know how much effort and force need to be used to lift a, a box of apples, then we are into the realm of applied research. That is research that is motivated by a concern of a real organization or institution. Applied research is important. It has a more direct effect on businesses and their stakeholders. Applied research entails different types of uh, projects and activities. For example, it can be executed within the sponsoring organization. Imagine that this organization wants to develop uh, an artificial intelligence algorithm to improve some decision. However, applied research can also be applied outside the partnering organization. For example, it could be a survey of the sentiment of uh, European citizens relative to a certain topic or an econometric study about the impact of a technology. It can certainly have a consulting component, but with applied research, we address a real problem using the uh, methodological toolkit of a scientist, which may entail survey research, econometric modeling, mathematical models, uh, qualitative methods, simulation, or whatever method is appropriate for the question at hand. Universities are called on to become the cradle of applicable knowledge. I always recall the quote from Immanuel Kant, the leading German philosopher, who used to say that there's no contradiction between theory and practice. Those theories that are not applicable to practice, to the reality, are just bad theories. Nothing more, nothing less. Corporates typically come with a question. It is about finding the right expert finding the right faculty member and research team that is willing and capable to dig deeper into this question. With more time and resources than maybe corporates are ever willing to dedicate. And on the other hand, the burning need of finding an answer to actually address specific needs in the marketplace. We try to ask smart questions and then use methods to address them, but the real creative point is the question. We are not problem solvers, we are problem seekers. There is a positive and constructive tension when we see the two parties working together. On the one hand, academics pushing for rigorous scientific research methods, pushing for independence of thinking, pushing for depth and really getting granular as to why things happen the way they're happening. On the other hand, they really benefit from corporates trying to drive towards applicability, viability, relevance in the real world. And this positive tension typically generates a win-win for both parties. The relationship between applied research and academic research is so fruitful because it creates a sort of uh, two-way feedbacks uh, between these two actors. First of all, uh, academics uh, research uh, create a new knowledge, new methodologies that the companies are striving to absorb because they can solve their everyday business problem in a novel way. Also because today companies are looking for something better than the classical, let me say, consultancy product that uh, they bought off the shelves uh, standardized for everyone. Working with companies, academics can create uh, new theories, uh, they can test all theories in new uh, settings and they can approach new data in a way that new question and new solution could be created. On the university side there is a, a growing awareness that academic research must contribute to business and society, be more relevant and geared to their real problems. In the business realm companies are becoming more and more open to applied research because uh, they see the value of uh, collecting, analyzing data to drive business decisions. Universities, if they develop cross-disciplinary research, have a much more neutral and independent standpoint to produce knowledge that are applicable in reality by companies, institutions and organizations. This is the big challenge for universities today to produce ideas and thoughtful knowledge that can actually transform our society for the good.